Elon Musk. Elon Musk? Yeah. Tesla Elon Musk? Yeah. Wow. Elon Musk has never done things half-baked. The revolutionary battery pack about to be released by electric vehicle giant Tesla is no different. Capable of covering a million, yes, a million miles, the car industry is about to be flipped 180 degrees and completely turned on its head. So what is this new battery exactly? And what are other car companies doing to compete with the groundbreaking technology? Renault's building a transformer. We'll tell you that much. Buckle up, because we're about to find out. Since Carl Benz built his first automobile in 1885, manufacturers have been focused on a number of key aspects – luxury, performance, style, comfort, and a roaring feel-good engine. However, as the world becomes more and more environmentally conscious, the industry has taken a momentous shift in one particular direction. Gone is the attitude to reliance on traditional fuel. In its place is the obsession with hybrid technology and electric vehicles. Except for a handful of supercar brands, almost every single manufacturer has tried their hands in the EV landscape. We've seen the Toyota Prius dominate the streets of LA and the Chevrolet Bolt EV quickly climb the ranks. However, as we're sure you already know, there's one particular name across the industry that has been put on a pedestal. In 2020, you can't think of electric cars without thinking of this brand, Elon Musk's baby, Tesla. Contrary to popular belief, however, Elon Musk didn't just wake up one morning and create Tesla in the blink of an eye. In fact, it wasn't even him who started it. Officially, Tesla Motors was incorporated in July 2003 by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening. The idea to go to market arose after GM recalled all of its EV1 electric cars in 2003. After that point, there was a large gap in the market, one which Eberhard and Tarpening were eager to grasp. Until then, for a car to be high performance, it usually meant that it would have a rather small mileage. Tesla aimed to rewrite that story. Big-name investors like Google co-founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page and former eBay president Jeff Skoll got behind the idea and helped turn Tesla into the most valuable American automaker to ever exist, with a market capitalization of $86.5 billion as of January 2020. So if Elon Musk wasn't one of the two founders, then where does he come into it all? And how come we've never heard of either Eberhardt or Tarpening before? Well, first of all, as we've come to realize, Elon is extremely outspoken and eccentric, far more so than the other two. It'd be almost impossible not to notice him, even if he was just working in the factory. As a crucial figurehead of the Tesla investment team, Elon Musk joined the board of directors as its chairman in 2004, a year after the company was founded. And from there, he and Tesla started on one momentous journey. He even used $6.5 million of his own money to fund the majority of the Series A investment. With that much cash on the line, there was no way that Elon was going to let a couple of other guys take charge of the company's direction. So, with Elon at the helm in 2008, Tesla Motors released its first car, the completely electric Roadster. But we'll touch more on that a little bit later on. Aside from Tesla, Elon Musk, who has a net worth of $28.8 billion, also has stakes in SpaceX. So as you can see, he's working on revolutionizing transportation both on Earth and in space. The crucial piece of technology that has taken Tesla from unknown IPO to industry-leading super company is, of course, its battery. The battery technology in its current form is used to power a number of models, including the Model 3, Model S, Model X, and the Model Y. For those who aren't familiar with the different types of cars, here's a quick rundown. This bad boy, the Model S, came out back in 2012 and took the reins as the world's first ever premium all-electric sedan. It has earned praise as the best car in its class in every category, and it knocked the Prius and the Bolt out of the water. Even though it's built on electric power, despite many initial concerns, it has no problem in the performance department. The Model S accelerates from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.2 seconds, has a top speed of 155, and can drive about 370 miles on a single charge. That range, however, with the new battery that we're about to reveal is about to be increased tenfold. As far as the rest of the Tesla clan, there's the Tesla Model 3 sedan. The 2020 base model retails for $39,990 which isn't as expensive as many would have thought. Then we've got the seven-seater people mover, the Model X. While its range is slightly shorter compared to the Model S with a max range of 325 miles, it has off-road capabilities and a large towing power. Then there's the compact, performance-focused Model Y. The performance model will offer slightly less range at just 280 miles, but it comes with a few other notable features, like 20-inch wheels, a lowered suspension, a higher top speed of 150 miles an hour, and a dedicated track mode. The sleek Tesla Roadster takes the cake, though. This stunning machine is supposed to be able to travel 620 miles, or a thousand kilometers, on a single battery charge. We'll also mention the Lego-looking Cybertruck, because why not, but that's another story entirely. 
The Roadster's 620 miles is out of this world. At least it is compared to any mainstream EV currently on the market. But until you hear about the new Tesla battery technology about to fly off the shelf, 620 miles seems like an inch. Allow us to introduce you to the so-called 1 million mile battery pack. It's ambitious. In fact, some people would say that it's downright crazy. Most cars have a lifetime of 250,000 miles. Do the math. This battery inside a Tesla would make it last four times as long as the normal car. You could keep the same set of wheels for 20, even 30 years. Although we'll probably have flying cars by then, right? How much of an improvement is that compared to the current Tesla batteries? The truth is, nobody knows. We can only guess, because the current vehicles simply haven't been on the road long enough for large numbers of the batteries to start wearing out. That being said, however, Musk has stated that the modules used in the Model 3 car should last 300,000 to 500,000 miles, which is about 1,500 fully charged cycles. Without getting too much into the science behind the battery, we will say that its chemistry is based on the composition that Tesla already uses in its stationary energy storage products, not the composition that is currently in its vehicles. The new technology does feature something special though, a new cathode crystal structure that's designed to make the batteries more resistant to electric wear and tear from repeated charging and use. What does this mean? Well, you know how your phone battery doesn't last as long as it used to when you bought it? That's what Tesla's new technology will address, minimizing the battery decay. That, my friends, is why it will be revolutionary. Can you imagine driving your car four times further without stopping for gas? I mean, it's the same deal, but electric. In partnership with physicists from Canada's Dalhousie University, Elon Musk and Tesla filed a patent for the Million Mile Battery Pack after he first dropped the idea in April of 2019. Whether it will be released publicly like they've done in the past remains to be seen. Would you like to see it go public? So with revolutionary technology on the horizon, where do we sit in terms of the direction of the automotive industry? We can't say for sure, but we know it'll be positive. When the technology becomes mainstream in Tesla's production line and when other companies like Toyota, BMW, Chevy and the likes begin to follow the leader and adapt their battery packs as well, the industry can only improve. It's not just the cars themselves that will see improvement, it's the entire sector. With a quadrupling of the cycling power, storing energy will become cheaper and more efficient, fewer power stations will be required, and ultimately, cars will last a lot longer, meaning more zero emission vehicles on the road compared to traditional engines. Buyers will start to ask themselves, would I rather buy one Tesla to last 20 years or four other cars? It's a pretty obvious decision if you ask us. We could see this technology implemented in any or all of the Model X, S, Y3 or Roadsters in the coming years. And yep, we wouldn't be surprised if it ended up in some of Tesla's concept models. You know, like the classic sports car, the tractor, the amphibious car, the city transit bus, and of course the flying car, if any of those do ever end up being made. We've got a good grip on how Tesla is doing in the EV sector, very well, but how are its competitors faring? Are other industry-leading manufacturers coming out with similar or more high-performance batteries? Some of them are, yes, but others are more focused on excelling in other areas. When you think of a Ferrari, what comes to mind? Performance and precision. Well, not for much longer. We already know about the jaw-dropping Ferrari SF90 Stradale, the company's first-ever plug-in hybrid. It can zip from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, roaring along thanks to its V8 engine and three electric motor combo, which pumps out 986 horsepower. But hybrid is hybrid. What about the purely electric sector? Take a look at these documents. The Italian Stallion has filed a European patent for a new electric system which are the first steps to its full all-electric supercar. With four electric motors, one powering each wheel, it's highly likely that the prestigious Tesla buyers might just change sides. And what about other car companies? Could they make something similar? The short answer is yes, but they're not all putting the resources toward boring elements like batteries. They're gunning for something with a whole lot more wow factor, focusing on other areas that will attract new buyers. While Tesla cars might drive further and longer, can they transform? Nope. But the Renault Morphos can take a look. And can Elon Musk's cars heal themselves if they get into a crash? Nope. But the Lamborghini Terzo Millennio sure can. And could a Tesla Roadster walk up and down stairs? Not yet, but the Hyundai Elevate can. Evidently, these companies plus a bunch of others have focused their resources elsewhere. 
It might seem like the million mile battery is a big win for Tesla, but in reality, it could be a big win for the entire automotive industry and beyond. Today's typical battery packs are more than adequate for individual EV owners, like the average Joe who wants to head down to Costco to buy toilet paper. But for taxis, Ubers, and long distance truckers, batteries need to be optimized to last as long as possible. If Tesla can take their technology and infiltrate other industries, then the sky's the limit. Are you on the Tesla bandwagon? Which model would you buy? Sound off in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for checking out The Richest. Stay safe, friends. We'll see you next time.